Hi you guys, it's me, Chris Colley. I'm in the Rover Room in Rochester Hills, Michigan. Thanks for joining me. Normally I'm here on Monday nights at 7 and um, today's Tuesday at 8. So I thank you for being flexible and I appreciate that. Um, tonight I'm going to start off by sharing some of my Demo Diva cards with you. Demonstrator Diva Night is what we um, do on... Um, Maybe the last Wednesday of every month, maybe, <laughs> I'm not sure. We do it on one Wednesday every month. And um, if you're a demonstrator that's local in the area and want to join us, it's a shoebox style swap. And if you leave a comment below, I will add you to our Facebook group where we just RSVP when we're gonna be able to make it. So um, I'm gonna turn you down and we'll get started tonight, okay? Hang on one minute here. Get a good look at the <laughs> inner workings here of how this goes. I have a new setup about maybe three weeks ago with my camera and my workspace. I'm actually working on getting this done with my iPad, but I'm not quite there yet. So we're just going to kind of wing it again tonight. This is one of the cards that we made, and this is made with the um, Timeless Tropical Bundle, which is on page 40 of our mini catalog. And it looks like this. And then you have the matching framelits that go with it here. Absolutely gorgeous. Some of that paper in this um, suite is so amazing. It has some beautiful, beautiful colors in it. Here's some samples made with that. That's just a beautiful coral with a little bit of yellow in there. The pineapple is so realistic. And this one matches almost all of the colors in the color palette. So you're sure to find one that you're gonna like. And it has lots and lots of different flowers and tropical blends. And the suite contains um, the framelits, which will cut your pineapple out, this great embossing folder, and um, some burlap ribbon, and some trinkets that match it also, plus some memories and more cards which are great for making cards or for pocket scrapbooking. And this was one of the cards that Beth shared with us. And we actually, I'll get it up there so you can see, we used some of the designer series paper on it here. And then there's some real red and some pool party, a little bit of green for the top of the pineapple. And you can see it's really actually kind of spiky there too. We used some of that trim and just gave it a little fraying on the edges. And these are rectangular framelits on the stitched rectangular framelit for these two outer layers. And then the Aloha is actually part of the framelits that come with this bundle. So a great card. Thanks, Beth, so much. I love it. And then the next one was made with the Under My Umbrella Bundle. This is a bundle that includes um, the punch. Let's see if I'm getting it there. Okay, so this is the stamp set, and it has sentiments and the umbrella with it. And then down here, you can see the matching punch. And um, it also has some designer series paper that's in a bundle that's um, part of our coordinating items that just came out today. So this is the card that I made. And I, again, used that um, white crinkle ribbon and colored it with my um, Blushing Bride um, blends. And then I stamped on the designer series paper from the All Dressed Up bundle and add a little bit of rhinestones and then emboss my back with the flower background embossing folder. And this next one Caroline did for us. This is my first time using this stamp set. And um, it comes with all of these really great stamps. It's called Mountain Air. 
and it has actual mountain stamps. It's reversible, so you can, with one side of this stamp, get this image and then turn it over and get that image with the other side of the stamp. Here's some clouds up here in the moon, some trees and a tree line. Absolutely beautiful, but I was a little... It looks like it could be complicated. And look at all these gorgeous, gorgeous samples made with that. Are those amazing? I love the colors in this one. And then you can see the actual framelits that match the stamp set. So the one we did with that is this one. And she did Rich Razzleberry and Blackberry Bliss with it. Absolutely gorgeous card. Now I cannot wait to play with it. I'm going to take a day where I have nothing going on and just play with this stamp set because I know I can get a lot of really great looks with this. And the other one that we made was from Celebration. And we used this Happy Birthday to You stamp set from the Celebration catalog. It's on page eight. And it also has a set of framelits that come out today um, and the coordination items that are coming out. So Lisa designed this one. We, we did an embossing folder in the background and then just watercolored it. She um, did the embossing for us and she heat embossed with some white embossing powder. And then we used, I used Aqua Painters and my um, stamp pads, the lids of my stamp pads for that. Isn't that gorgeous? And we put some Winka Stella on top of it. So it's got a lot of beautiful sparkle to it. Okay, and you heard me mention coordinating products that came out today. So we had a coordination product release that our customers can order with from beginning today until March 31st. And these are items that will coordinate it with things in the mini catalog and or the celebration catalog. So in the mini catalog, there's a stamp set that has these little butterflies in it. And um, these framelits will match them. They'll coordinate with them. And those are called the Nature's Thoughts Dies. We have the Special People Stamp Set and the Special Day Dies match it. They coordinate with it. Then there is a Sentiment Stamp Set that the Spring Flower Dies coordinate with. And that one is part of the... Um, celebration catalog. And then when you host a $300 or more um, party during celebration, you get this great ladybug stamp set free. And here's some dies that coordinate with it. And then the birthday cake that I showed you, we made our card with. There's some dies that coordinate with that. And they also took four different punches that we had and made designer series paper that coordinates with those punches. So that's all part of this product release also. And tonight I'm gonna to share with you a quick card made with that designer series paper. And it has some great pieces to it. Um, one that coordinates with the heart punch, one that coordinates with the tulip punch. I did have them set out to bring over here, but I didn't bring them. So let's see if we can get in here where you can see that. So they have ones that coordinate with umbrella punch, the heart punch, the flower punch, and then the tulip punch. And they all have patterns on the back side of them also. So this one is actually the flower punch and that goes with the, the it coordinates with the thoughtful blooms stamp set which is a celebration item and it has a coordinating punch also so these two items you can get for free and you can also get this paper as a coordinating item to match these two okay and positive thoughts is where we're gonna get our sentiment. And this is the set that, um, got little flowers stuck everywhere, that man matches the coordinating framelits 
here. So the Nature Thoughts dies go with the Positive Thoughts stamp set in the mini catalog. And we're actually going to use this phrase that says, um, friends like you mean more every year. So that's the phrase that's going to come from here. And then we used um, a creamlet that coordinates, or is part of this So Sentimental bundle. And this, these framelits that coordinate with that are these stitched rectangles that have kind of a, a scalloped edge to them. And then these great ones for words too. So that's a great bundle to have because it has a sentiment and then lots and lots of useful framelits. So those are the products we're going to use tonight. And I'm going to show you, I'm sure some of you have heard the phrase casing. Um, I'm going to case that card. Is it okay if I case that card? And that stands for copy and share everything. So what I like to do is when I'm casing something, I like to put my own spin on it. So it's not exactly like the one that I saw. So tonight I'm actually gonna case my own card. This is a card that I made that features the celebration coordination, coordinating punch packet of designer series paper and the um, flower punch. So what I'm gonna do is case my card and I'm just gonna use a different piece of designer series paper. So it'll give it a different look on the background of it. And I'm going to, instead of just punching out the pink flowers, I'm gonna punch out colors that will coordinate with this. So let's get some of this stuff out of the way. All I'm gonna do is hold my paper so that the flowers are facing up and that way I can get a perfect lineup because I can see. I'm just going to keep the pads of my hands away from the back there and just punch these out. See how magnificently this punch punches from that designer series paper? You can just line it up just perfectly and you get a little bit of a white edge around it which is kind of eye-catching I think. And punches make everything quick and easy to do. And Stampin' Up! makes coordinating your projects with one another and your products with one another quick and easy. As you can see, all of these things coordinate with one another just seamlessly. It's, it's almost impossible to make a mistake and find something that really doesn't look good together. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five flowers punched out. And I'm going to take that stitched rectangle kind of framelit there with the skeleton edge. And I'm going to cut that. Getting all my stuff out of my basket here. I'm going to cut that out with my big shot. So let's get that over here and I like to use my magnetic mat with that and a clear piece and a white piece of cardstock and my framelit or die on top of it and another clear piece on top of that and I'm just going to push it through. And I actually, because this framelit is a little more intricate with the um, stitching on it, I'm going to roll it back and forth a couple times to make sure I get a good clean cut and it will pop right out. I'll get rid of that. And then here's my card base. And for this one, I am actually using um, some extra thick white cardstock. We have great Whisper white cardstock, but we also sell it in an extra thick. And when I'm using my cards, white cardstock as a base, I like to use the extra thick. So I'm just going to give it a good crease with my bone folder. I'm going to take some 
smoky slate cardstock to layer right on there. And I just want to give this a make this a little bit of a trim that you can see kind of peeking out of my designer Sears paper right around the edges. And if all goes well, I've measured it so that it will work that way. Wow, that looks really crooked. Let's see if we can straighten it out there. Sometimes when it's facing away from me, I can't tell if it's crooked or straight. Okay. And again, with this Art Designer Series paper, it's so hard to decide which side of the paper you want to put up. But I'm going to go with this one. I like all those colors together, and I think that that gray um, smoky slate behind it just kind of really pops it up there. Let me make sure I'm still where you guys can see me. And I'm going to take this little whisper white piece that I took out and use some smoky slate ink and just ink up my stamp very, very lightly. And I'm going to stamp it at the very bottom of my white piece, okay? And again, we have those nice clear blocks. So you can see exactly where you're putting your stamp and what you're doing with that. Um, I'm going to put it up on my card base with some dimensionals. So I'll just put those back there. And I, I've cut my trim around my dimensional piece because it's getting to the end. So I just don't want to waste any of those precious little things that will hold my card up, my sentiment up on my card. So we'll get those on there. Ooh, sticking to me. Okay, so I want to try and get that nice and straight. Before I push it down, I am going to look and make sure. Oh, it looks pretty good. Okay, so now I have five little flowers that I all punched out. And they're all a little bit different. So I'm going to start with this one. And I'm going to put it right in the middle and build off that. So, oh, you know, I think think before I do that since I have my bone folder I'm just going to run my bone folder over the edges a little bit you can um, use a little bit of spritzer and get this wet and crumple it up so that they have some little curly edges but you're just going to get a little bit more dimension on these flowers when you do this you can roll it around an ink pen Really anything you have, your scissors will work. Anything you have that will kind of give it a little, make the flower petals kind of pop up a little bit. These are a good shape and size so that you can easily layer them on top of each other and get an entirely different look with them. You can layer different colors on there. So lots of options with these. I am going to though, Put them on with a dimensional, kind of right in the middle. I'm sorry, with a glue dot. Right in the middle of the back. And I'm going to start that right in the center. And then build off on either side of it. And that's going to kind of let me make sure that everything is equal as I go along. So that I don't have like everything all smushed to the middle and nothing on one side. This just lets it go in a little more a manner where I'm a little more even about what I'm doing there. And I'm not going to push them down really tight because I do want to be able to adjust them a little bit when I'm done. I do want to again make sure they're in a straight line too. So I'll show you when I'm done. The 
the original card that I made. And this was actually my own card design. I didn't case the card design. So we have an original and a cased. Okay, so let me take a look there. I think I'm gonna bring this one down a little bit. And I'm just gonna take these, and because I didn't get them down really, to put them down really tight, I can move them a little bit easier. Okay, so now I'm gonna punch them down because I kind of like where they are. I think I have them all centered. It's be a gorgeous card to leave just like this, but I think I'm going to add just a little bit of oomph to it with these um, metallic pearls. And because I added the smoky slate and did the smoky slate in the words, I think it's gonna be kind of a good, a good fit on there. So I'm just gonna use my pick your tool and pick up my little pearls with it and put them down. You can do this with a pair of scissors. I like my pick your tool. It comes with lots of different accessories for it. Okay, quick and easy. So here is our casing of this card. So you can see what a difference the, the paper is gonna make. This one almost looks like it could be an Easter card or a get well card. This one looks like more of a birthday card, a more happy and fun card, I think. So um, whatever you your paper, this designer series paper is just gonna fit any kind of card style that you have. And it may be a card style for the person that you're gonna be sending it to, but these are the exact same only different kinds of designer series, different colors of designer series paper. How about that? So casing is fun and it's a quick and easy way to find a card that you like and put your own spin on it. Okay, let me flip you guys back up and I'll see you there and say goodbye and thank everybody for watching. Hi, Drew. I'm glad you're here. It was good to chat with you a little bit this morning. You're out and about. I'm going to try and see where I always seem to get a light that's shining on my glasses. So, hi, Cheryl. I see some new names here that I haven't seen before. And Pam, to get my, where my bifocals are hitting is kind of in an off spot. Okay, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions at all, please put them in the comments section for me. And next week, I will be back on Monday night at um, 7 o'clock, my regular Create Live with Chris time. So I'll see you then. Have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye.